Timed to synchronize with the British encirclement of Mandalay, men of the 38th Chinese Division add artillery weight to the southward drive. Given the tools, these troops demonstrate that they know how to use them. Close air cooperation comes from American dive bombers. of the Japanese hold on Burma was Mandalay, the old capital of the country. 500 miles of hard fighting across Burma brought the British 14th within gun range of the city. The Japanese made use of ancient pagodas and temples as strong points. Resistance was determined and made the capture of Mandalay the costliest campaign of the whole Burma war. The 2nd British Division and the famous Indian 19th Dagger Division were first into Mandalay. Taking a look at the town is their commander, General Rees, who lived in Mandalay 15 years ago as the governor's secretary. Only handfuls of Japanese prisoners are brought in. A change from the masses of captured Germans now so familiar in newsreels. Honorable atrocity mongers of Southeast Asia seem to be eating humble pie now. Among the regiments which took the city are the Berkshires, the Worcesters, British and Indian tank units, and Gurkha and Punjabi infantry, regiments with magnificent fighting histories. The crushing of Japanese strongpoints has made the destruction of many historic buildings inevitable. Mandalay is the 14th Army's prize. En route, the troops have picked up some smaller trophies. From now on, if ever there was a forgotten army, it's the Japanese army in Burma. It has been beaten on land and overwhelmed in the air. The speed and daring of the British attack knocked the enemy completely off his balance. After Mandalay, the last phase of the Burma War begins.